guys, it's Jess from Huga Yoga. Thank you so much for joining. Today's class is Chair Yoga for Vertigo. If you follow my channel, you probably know we have a lot of head rolls, neck rolls in this class. So we have a special request today to do a class that really is mindful of not moving the head too much. All right, as always, we'll get started with a quote. This is from the book, Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. The less time you fixate on everyone else, the more time you have to focus on yourself. Hmm. We'll let those words sink in. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. We'll begin with our hands resting gently on our legs. Close the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale the breath out of the mouth. Two more just like that. We breathe in. We breathe out. Inhale. Exhale it out. Let's raise the hands up through heart center, rise them up to the sky, and then exhale, bring the sun down. So we're doing a modified sun salutation here. We inhale, sun rises up. Exhale, sun comes down. Let's do five of these. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise the sun up. Exhale, it sets down. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and shoot those hands right back up. This time, we'll inhale up and then exhale, lean the whole body to one side. So in this pose, we're really feeling it along the side body, friends. We're getting a nice side body stretch and feel free to keep your head as straight in this pose as you want. If it's more comfortable to tilt it a bit, you can. But again, this class is especially for people suffering from vertigo. So if that's the case, really keep your head aligned and focus on the side body. Here we go. We breathe for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale straight up like an arrow. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's take it right to the other side. So again, slight curve in the top body. We're feeling this along the side, along the rib cage here. Getting a nice stretch along the spine. Let's breathe it in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, almost there, one, bring it nice and straight, and exhale, hands come down to heart center, beautiful, so now we'll take the arms out into a cactus shape here, so again, you'll notice in this class we're doing very, very, very little movement at all above the shoulders here with the head or the neck, 
but you should definitely be starting to feel this in other parts of your body, like your arms and your side body. So here we go, cactus those arms, and we are going to flip them down and flip them up. So focusing on the mobility of our joints here, it's like that scene from The Wizard of Oz, the tin man who needs a little oil on his joints. We are oiling up our joints to keep them nice and mobile. Here we go, down and up and down and up. We exhale the breath, inhale the breath, Let's take it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, almost there, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Let's just bring those arms in front of us here. Again, head is nice and straight, neck is nice and straight. And we're just going to windshield wiper the arms from right to left here. So again, getting that mobility in those shoulder joints. This should feel really nice. Let's go for five and four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, go ahead, clasp those fingers together, reach them out front of you, nice big stretch, friends, and you can flip the hands so we get the reverse stretch here. Take a nice big inhale in, rise those arms up. Exhale down, all the way to the knees. So we inhale up, exhale down, Breathe it up, breathe it down, two more just like that, wonderful, inhale arms up through the heart, all right friends, a little bit more burn here. Let's bring those arms out nice and straight into warrior two. And typically in warrior two, we do a lot of head motion here. We would look to the side, we would look up, all kinds of things. But today we're going to keep our head nice and neutral, neck nice and straight, chin down. Here we go, warrior two. We're going to inhale, breathe it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's take this for five, four, three, two, one. This time, arms float up. We're going to come into chair pose. So you're Hands are a little bit in front of you, so you should be able to see your finger, fingers as you're wiggling them. So we're reaching nice and long and straight through our arms here. We're sitting in the chair, so we're really engaging these core muscles. All right, friends, so here we go. We're going to lift one foot off the ground on the inhale. Exhale down. Opposite foot up. Exhale down. So this is actually a super challenging pose if you're engaging your whole body. I am feeling this not only through my arms, but also through my abs as I'm engaging these core muscles. So this is going to get you that same activation that the regular chair pose outside of the chair will get you. Don't forget your breath. One more. All right, friends, we're really gonna turn up the heat now. And both feet are going to come off the floor just a few inches, nothing crazy. And then tap the toes down. Inhale up. 
exhale down inhale exhale and you can see as I'm doing this chair pose I am tilting back ever so slightly and then when I tap the feet down I'm tilting forward so we go back and forward again engage every muscle from the arm to the belly to the toes and you'll really start to feel this let's take it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 almost there 3 2 1 beautiful we release the toes down give yourself a nice squeeze here a nice big hug of self-love oh wow breathe all that love in and exhale all that love out we release hands down to the legs and we'll finish with one last squeeze engaging these core muscles and also working our legs a little bit so we inhale, rise the knee up, nice straight spine here. Again, we haven't moved that neck, that head at all. We're keeping a nice long spine, nice long neck. You can point those toes down and then flex them up. Point, flex, point, flex, and we breathe. Two more. Beautiful. Release the leg down. Take the other knee into the chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. Realign that spine so you're sitting up nice and tall. Point the foot down. Here we go. Feel free to close the eyes if that feels good to you. And we point and we flex. Point flex, point, flex, connect the breath, three more, and release the leg down, beautiful work friends. So we're sitting up nice and tall just like we started. You can rest the hands down on the knees. I always like to end class with the quote we began with. The less time you fixate on everyone else, the more time you have to focus on yourself. So with those words, friends, we'll rise our hands up to heart center a nice deep inhale in exhale it all out the light in me sees the light in you namaste and you can see on the namaste even instead of bowing my head down I'm simply raising the hands up to meet my forehead touching that third eye and then releasing them to the heart Guys, thank you so much for joining. Again, this was Chair Yoga for Vertigo. And I really, really appreciate one of our wonderful um, yogis leaving a comment to please do a class about um, or focused on people that have vertigo issues. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any more class suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comments. I would love to get those out for you. And in the meantime, have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys here next week. Bye.